Hi, this is Amprasan Idol. Today we are discuss about the target of branch chain amino acids supplementation in the treatment of liver disease. So, this branch chain amino acids, so how it is a supplementation related about the treatment of in liver disease. The branch chain amino acids protein metabolism in various forms of hepatic injury and it suggests that uh, the main cause of decrease in plasma branch chain amino acid concentration in liver cellulose so, is hyperammonia. There are Three, three possible targets of branch chain amino acid supplementation in liver disease are suggested. One of first one is the hepatic encephalopathy. Second one is liver regeneration. Third one is hepatic cachexia. So this branch chain amino acid may be um, like a hepatic encephalopathy promoting the ammonia detoxification and correction of plasma amino acids imbalance and by reduced branch like brain influxes like amino abnormal aneurysm. aneurysm. So the favorable effects of branch chain amino acids on liver regeneration and the nutritional state of the body is related to the stimulatory effect on the protein synthesis secretions of uh, hepatocytes and growth factors and glutamine production and antibody inhibitory effect on proteolysis and the pre um, presumably in the beneficial effects of branch chain amino acids and uh, disease with uh, disease like uh, hepatic cataxia is significant to in compensate to liver disease with the decreased uh, plasma branch chain amino acid concentration. Where it uh, where uh, is that it, it is less pronounced in hepatic disease with the inflammatory complications and enhanced protein turnover. So these branch chain amino acids, valine, leucine, isoleucine, these are the indispensable like uh, like indispensable amino acids in special interest. Several studies have demonstrated that uh, the stimulator, like a stimulatory effect of branch chain amino acids on our metabolites, their metabolites proteins, their and our inhibitory effects on proteolytes. The play, they play major role in uh, muscle and most uh, other tissues because they are major amino acids that can be oxidized in tissues. So these are the regulations of amino acids to branch chain amino acids. In then compare here coming to the liver like uh, any acute injury liver injury means is clinically clinically conditions resulting from the damage of liver cells one characteristic features so acute liver um, liver failures marked increase the in uh, amino amino um, like uh, acidemia the main cause of the increased amino acid concentration is due to their leaking uh, from the uh, dying hepatocytes. The changes changes in the branch chain amino acid concentration are lesser pronounced compared to the other amino acids because they are catabolized significantly in extra hepatic tissues. Chronic injuries here, chronic sometimes chronic injuries, this decreases the blood concentration of branch chain amino acid, increases concentration also for amino acid like uh, methionine or characterized chronic liver disease and the condition is cirrhosis. The abnormal abnormalities like applying branch chain amino acid levels of increases at the cirrhosis expressive the more ratio. Physiologically the ratio is 3.0 like uh, 3.5 also, whereas patients with the hepatic cirrhosis is it is I think significantly lower. Branch chain amino acids, hepatic encephalopathy, it is a serious neuropsychic abnormality associated with the chronic acute liver injuries, signs and impaired con contribution, a flap tremor and decreasing level of uh, consciousness induces the coma, cerebral edema and ultimately finally it leads to death. So some substances contributing to symptoms of hepatic encephalopathy including ammonia and metaptones, short chain fatty acid, increased concentration of like amino acid, like abnormal amino acid, like GABA, GABA, amino bitteric acid, endogen and benzoic hepatitis, like in the pathogenesis, like changes like impaired with the liver functions and portal systemic shunting interact with the result in the accumulations of substances that normally be removed by the liver. So, how is the resumed mechanism of the direct effects of hyperammonia on brain function including it is uh, effect of uh, effect on inhibitory post synaptic potential block in the like the chloride pump the impairment of brain ATP synthesis due to the depletions of Krebs cycle intermediate cells swallowing by, by ammonia induced blood flow and the synthesis blood flow synthesis accumulation of blood like a uh, glutamine uh, is astrocytes so hyperammonia affects on neurotransmitters associated with the like MDA receptors acute uh, 
effects like activation of MDA levels and intracellular ex excess of uh, calcium and increase in nitric oxide formation and uh, increase the production of free radicals and uh, impaired the mitochondrial reception and uh, ATP depletion contributing like ammonia including the death uh, in acute liver I think it is failure. So how chronic hyperammonia seems to include the impairment of signal transcription are associated with the non-MDA level receptors and thereby contributing so neurological alternation observed in hepatic encephalopathy. I think this condition will be chronic uh, hyperammonia. These are the conditions. Some, day, some of the conditions like indirectly hyperammonia may be contribute to the uh, hepatic encephalopathy by also it is decreasing branchial amino acid level in blood alternative to the amino acid like uh, uh, it transport across the blood brain barrier and then amino acid like uh, CNS due to the high blood brain like uh, concentration also increases at branch chain amino acid which will complete the entry of uh, L synthesis L system like uh, this system will be serves as transport of neutral amino acids across the blood brain barriers that is the bundle branch barrier. So augmented like uptake uh, uh, amino acid like normal uh, six imbalance in the synthesis of dopamine and non adrenaline and serotonin in the brain and adding in addition increase the availability of uh, maybe increase cause the formations of false neurotransmitters like uh, octopamine and phenylalanine on uh, thyroamine these are the things we can come into the discussion about the branch chain amino acids so these branch chain amino acids so we will discuss about the uh, related about the liver diseases